Mr. Krishnamurthy. Director Mueller, oh, thank you for your devoted service to your country. Earlier, earlier today, you described your report as detailing a criminal investigation, correct? Yes. Yes. Director, since it was outside the purview of your investigation, your report did not reach counterintelligence conclusions regarding the subject matter of your report. That's true. For instance, since it was outside your purview, your report did not reach counterintelligence conclusions regarding any Trump administration officials who might potentially be vulnerable to compromise or blackmail by Russia, correct? Those uh, decisions probably were made in the counter uh, the uh, FBI. But not in your report, correct? Not in our report. We advert to the, uh, uh, the uh, counter, uh, counterintelligence uh, goals of our investigation, which were secondary to any criminal uh, wrongdoing that we could find. Let's talk about one administration official in particular, namely President Donald Trump. Other than Trump Tower Moscow, uh, your report does not address or detail the president's financial ties or dealings with Russia, correct? Correct. Similarly, since it was outside your purview, your report does not address the question of whether Russian oligarchs engaged in money laundering through any of the president's businesses, correct? Correct. And of course, your office did not obtain the president's tax returns, which could otherwise show foreign financial sources, correct? I'm not going to speak to that. I'm not going to speak to that. In July 2017, the, rep the president said his personal finances were off limits or outside the purview of your investigation. And he drew a quote unquote red line around his personal finances. Were the per president's personal finances outside the purview of your investigation? I'm not going to get into that. Were you instructed by anyone not to investigate the president's personal finances? No. Mr. Mueller, um, I'd like to turn your attention to counterintelligence risks associated with lying. Individuals can be subject to blackmail if they lie about their interactions with foreign countries, correct? True. For example, you successfully charged former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn of lying to federal agents about his conversations with Russian officials, correct? Correct. Since it was outside the purview of your investigation, your report did not address how Flynn's false statements could pose a national security risk because the Russians knew the falsity of those uh, statements, right? I cannot get into that mainly because there are many elements of the FBI that are looking at uh, different aspects of that issue. Currently? Currently. Thank you. As you noted in volume two of your report, Donald Trump repeated five times in one press conference, Mr. Mueller, in 2016, quote, I have nothing to do with Russia. Of course, Michael Cohen said Donald Trump was not being truthful because at this time, Trump was attempting to build Trump Tower Moscow. Your report does not address whether Donald Trump was compromised in any way because of any potential false statements that he made about Trump Tower Moscow, correct? I think that's right. I think that's right. Director Mueller, I want to turn your attention to um, a couple other issues. You've served as FBI director during three presidential elections, correct? Yes. And during those three presidential elections, you have never initiated an investigation at the FBI looking into whether a foreign government interfered in our elections the same way you did in this particular instance, correct? Uh, I, I would say I personally know, but uh, the FBI quite obviously has uh, the, uh, how do you defense an attack such as the Russians undertook in 2016? Now, Director Mueller, um, is there any information you'd like to share with this committee that you have not so far today? Well, that's a broad question. <laughs> um, and it'd take me a while to get an answer to it, but I'd say no. <laughs> um, Mr. Mueller, uh, you said that every American should play, pay very close attention to the systematic and sweeping fashion in which the Russians 
uh, interfered in our democracy. Um, are you concerned that we are not doing enough currently to prevent this from happening again? Well, I'll speak generally and uh, what I said in my uh, opening statement uh, this morning and uh, here that, uh, no, much more needs to be done in order to protect against this uh, intrusion, not just by the Russians, but others as well. Thank you, Director. We have two uh, five-minute uh, periods remaining, um, Mr. Nunes and myself. Uh, Mr. Nunes, you are recognized. Mr. Mueller, it's been a long uh, day for you, and you've had a long, great career. Uh, I want to thank you for your longtime service, starting in Vietnam, uh, obviously in the U.S. Attorney's Office, Department of Justice, and the FBI. And I want to thank you for doing something you didn't have to do. You came here upon your own free will, and we appreciate your time today. With that, I yield back. Thank you, sir.